Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate y'all for hanging out once again, as always. So, ghosting letters on a boxcar, hopper, whatever. Um, this is gonna be kind of a quick, maybe-ish video. I got asked a lot on how I did that. Um, once I started looking up on YouTube or any other place, there was very little um, tutorials or whatever on how to do it. I seen maybe one or two, but I felt like, hey, people was asking a lot on TikTok, on YouTube, on Facebook, on how I ghosted those letters. And it's very easy. And uh, this video should be kind of, not quick, but not real long either. Um, I did do a little extra weathering on it as well, um, just to extend the, the video so it wouldn't be two minutes long. But it's not a hard process, super easy. Check out the video and uh, I'll see y'all when it's done. All right, so for this uh, ghosting of these letters, uh, you'll need to do just a little bit of uh, either spray paint or airbrushing um, because what needs to happen is the, the letters underneath need to be uh, brighter than the actual car itself. So I dusted this with a little bit of, um, I think dust color actually from ammo. And uh, here's some Microsoft. Sure, you guys have heard of this. If not, it's Microsoft and it softens up the letters. You can also use this to put on decals and stuff like that. So that's what that's for. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so here I'm kind of just putting down some uh, little pieces of paper towel that I can put the uh, Microsoft on with a dropper and. I'm a little extra, so you probably don't need to make perfect little squares, but uh, in my brain, that's kind of what I think I need. Again, I don't, so um, let that sit for five minutes and get your X-Acto knife and kind of just start scratching away here because um, it really softens up that the letters or because I'm, I'm assuming from what I've seen these are um, some people use paint some company use paints to um, put this these letters on some of them are decals um, I'm not totally sure what this is I feel like it's almost like a, a decal the way it's coming off of here, but I could be wrong. But anyway, yeah, just get your knife and uh, just start scraping away um, once you take the uh, paper towel off of there that was soaked with Microsoft. You can leave as much or as little of the uh, letters that you want on there. Um, I looked at some prototypical stuff there's a lot of prototypical stuff out there that, you know, some of the lettering is still on there. Um, and then you can cover some of the, if you feel like it was a mistake or something with some rust spots or something. So it's not uh, super critical that you get everything off of there. Again, unless that's what you want, then cool. And this honestly is just my way. Again, there's probably another million and one ways to uh, do this but this is a super fast super easy way to get rid of letters on box cars engines or whatever <clears throat> um like i said for for the for to get that ghosting and i'm doing air quotes here that ghosting effect you'll need to spray the box car or whatever you're wanting to do this because I did a little switcher like this also you'll want to spray it with something 
like a, a dusty color, you know, dust, uh, earth colors. One, you're showing that the train has um, been across the road, um, but also that will help um, pull out that natural white color that's underneath that dirt. And then here you have it, you know, uh, and depending on how dark you use, you know, with the dust and all those other colors, if you make a darker brown or something, then that white is going to pop even more from the from the ghosting effect. If you're ghosting a darker color car, you'll want to um, use a lighter color. So dust is, is a pretty general color and it's very um, equally used from, from me on both sides, right? So if I use that same dust on like a burgundy car or navy blue car, <clears throat> you know, you have to look at reference again and see how road grime and stuff affects certain uh, colors of box cars and so with that you know it will come on the uh, darker color cars a little lighter but then that hard crispy blue or burgundy or whatever color will shine through once you ghost those letters so bottom line ghosting is you just taking off that layer but revealing the initial virgin color that was under those letters and um, <clears throat> here uh, like I was saying in the intro I just kind of kept this going with the uh, recording just so it wouldn't be um, how long is this video if I just if I'd have cut it off where I <laughs> finished ghosting this uh, video probably wouldn't have been maybe five minutes of me doing that <clears throat> and excuse the coughing I'm so sorry for that but here I am just using um, a dark brown mixed with maybe two or three drops of black to make the uh, rust really dark or that, that color that I'm applying here and you can use a sponge technique to also get those pitted rust spots on there and stuff like that. But I, I like using a brush sometimes when it comes to that. And it's no real, uh, like, I'm not going to say talent or skill. It's just, I'm really just being really loose and shaky with my hands. So if you don't have a steady hand, this is probably one of the better things here for you uh, to try it out at least. Um, here I'm using, <clears throat> excuse me, sheesh, I'm using uh, water-based oils and you can use either water or uh, thinner, but I'm just using a Winsor Newton water-based and I'm putting a very light coat of oil and I've probably done this, oof five or six times but it's it's just a very very light coat and what i'm using the color is a burnt, burnt sienna and i put a little dab on my palette uh, thin it out a lot and then i just build up layer after layer after layer after layer so that's what i'm doing to get that um just some different uh paneling color going here um, and what I had done here is I've used that same Winsor Newton but it's a different color it's burnt umber and I put little dabs up top where some of that um, rust pitting is happening and then I just soak my paintbrush with thinner and just pull down to create those uh, rust effects you know again using reference and we see this all the time where the rust in the water and the rain just 
end up making uh, rust trails. And that's all I'm doing here is, is trying to mimic those rust trails that I've seen, that we've all seen. Um, this is probably one of the funner parts for me as I, I do modeling. I love rusty stuff. I love making it look real and like it's been used and out on the road. I mean, for all y'all that's been following me for a minute, you know I love grimy, uh, gritty, worn out, rotted stuff. Um, <clears throat> and it's no different with trains and cars and anything else that goes on my layout is going to look pretty bad. And uh, yeah, this is it. This is, um, it's not as heavy as the other one that I've done, but there, there's some good rusting happening here and some good uh, aging that's taking place. And you can see how those ghosting letters are still there. You know, it, it just, I feel like it turned out pretty decent. So here it is on the layout. And yeah, y'all, that's it. Um, I appreciate y'all. And uh, we're going to wrap up here. Peace. And so, yeah, that was it. Um, like I said, super easy, really quick, in and out, and you got some ghosted letters. There's nothing else to add to this. I would say just try it. There are some letters that are a little more difficult to come off than others, but other than that, super easy. As you can see, I am pushed back a little bit. I wanted to try out a new little uh, setup and see how it felt with y'all, with me. I kind of like it, I kind of don't. I feel like I'm a little further back from y'all, obviously, but it felt feels a little almost too disconnected. So I may move this up a little bit. I'm just trying stuff out. Anyway, I want to thank my Patreon folks. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all for all the support, all the love, and all the comments that y'all do. With that said, I will see y'all next video. I do kind of like it though. I like the bench where I can kind of have something to lean on and so I'll figure out some more camera angles and stuff like that. But yeah, I kind of like this. See you next time. Peace.